Due to some complications, I am unfortunately not at EVO. However, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be reacting to the reveals and the content released this weekend at EVO. So be sure to click the bell notification on this channel so you can be notified when I upload because I'm going to be uploading frequently this weekend. Now, Project L. Damn, I wish I could have went so I could play it. However, Riot has given us a surprise, a big surprise. Yasuo was actually revealed for the game. They were teasing that they were going to show another character at EVO. Some people thought it was a character that uh, was going to be playable in the build that they had already shown previously. But I had a feeling there's no way you come to EVO with this game. You hype it up and you're not showing a new character. It's EVO, right? So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's react to Yasuo the Unforgiven. Fun fact. Ever since Yasuo was released in League, he's been my number one band champion. I ban him in every game. You can ask my friends. Consistency. Loving the art style already. Loving the music though. I like the ambiance. Go with the wind. Man, fuck. Off rip, I already feel like this character is gonna be busted. If he's anything like he is in League, he's gonna be fucking dumb. Quick back dashes. Looks like he has long ass range. That sword is long as fuck. And he's gonna be quick too. Cross ups. So yeah, it looked like he had a side switch. Right here. Yeah, it looks like he has a side switch. A counter. Oh my god, this character already looks better than all the other ones. Holy shit. Combo central with juggles to boot. Wall combos, a spike? Bro, what the fuck? Well, first and foremost, right. I already have some kind of bias because I don't like Yasuo because he gives me hell in league. But if we're putting bias aside, this character looks fucking sick. And not only that, I think they chose a proper character to show because I feel like he's showing off a lot of the mechanics and just death that characters can go well be or, or how deep a character can be realistically in this game uh he looks like he can do it all oh shit one of his assists is he can come out and counter i wonder if that's just projectiles or he can also counter our physical attacks you have the wind the, the fucking tornado taunts oh, this game looks so nice This shit is crazy, bro. Nice tag in to bro. This has to be his his super. Okay. Hey everyone, Alex here from the Champs team. Damn. Want to share an overview of our hero roster, some of which you've seen in previous updates, and. You just saw an exciting Damn, bro. champion lineup. Yo, peep in the background. They're playing ult. They're actually playing ultimate. They're on battlefield. Smasher, I can literally tell immediately. Yasuo, the Unforgiven. Yasuo is a master swordsman who manipulates the wind with his blade. Oh, no. This character that, is fucking insane, in bro. Yeah, he bro. For every situation. He can outplay with mix-ups. He can go to the air for really technical combos. Play defense with his wind wall. All right, what's his weakness? Just win neutral with what's, huge his, what's his weakness? And you can come check him out today at Evo. What's his weakness? For the rest of the roster, we have three more champions available to play. Ari, oh my god, Darius, I can't wait. The hand of Noxus. Cannot wait. Noxus is Runeterra's brutal expansionist empire. As a ruthless axe wielding general, Darius hits like a truck. He owns the mid range and he's relentless on offense too. Once he wounds his opponent, they'll take huge chip damage from everything. Oh and shit. He can reset. So so some characters have like passives. No. That's cool. That's really cool. Then there's Echo. The boy who shattered time. Very he's Echo looks cool as shit. Power to rewind time. With Echo's chrono strikes, you can go in, then call for a do-over. He's tough to whiff punish and even tougher to block. Like it's so cool how they and added implementation of like phase, league stuff into the fighting game. Like it's fucking yeah. sick, man. Finally, there's Ari, the nine-tailed fox. That's my main free. You can channel the magic of the spirit realm. Ari is a rushdown terror. Let's the go. 
She has a unique resource, Foxfire, which she can blast to extend her pressure, giving her high lows and left rights for days. With meter, things get really open-ended. We've got a ton more champs in the lab, like Jinx and Alawi, but we hope you'll enjoy getting your first taste of Project L with this roster. Each champion has their own unique playstyle and identity, and when teamed up, they can pull off some pretty wild sequences. Nice, nice. We're excited to see what you'll come up with. If you're at EVO and you want to try our champs for yourself, we'll have a full guide on how to actually play Project L coming really soon. And Thanks I think everyone. I think that also dropped today, actually. So that's nice. They gave us a little bit more gameplay footage after showing Yasuo, but Yasuo looks fucking incredible. Like, actually, I think he's going to be easily one of the most popular characters base game free. Like, actually. So she has a projectile super. I just noticed that. Holy shit. Kame Kame Hobbit. <laughs> all right i love you i can't wait for this game thank you so much so let's actually peep how to play because i know this dropped today also if you're warming up for pools Whoa, i wanted to loud. take a moment to give you all the info you'll need about project l okay it's available all day today and tomorrow on the show floor what you'll be playing is a demo of project l that we put together just for evo okay because we're playing an in development version of the game we'll provide the controllers and the sticks but in the future, we'll obviously support all kinds of devices. Of course. And we want your feedback. Everyone on the team is excited to put the game in front of the FGC. Yeah, this is the so first time they actually think. really gave it to the public. Now, so I'm though, sure they're like dive in on how nervous, play. but excited. Hello, everyone. Caroline here. I'm a game designer on the team. Let's get right into it. We'll start with the basics. Project L has light, medium and heavy normal. Attacks. Okay, standard. Some of these can be modified with a directional input. Here are some basic combos. I think that'll take some getting used to, but like overall it'll be easy. You can launch your opponent with down forward and heavy to continue your combos in the air. Okay. Each champ also has a range of special moves tied to the S1 and S2 buttons. One button supers, baby. Well, You've two buttons in this case. Two different level one ultimates for finishing combo. Oh no, no, it's technically yeah, one button supers. Here we go. One bar of your ultimate meter. Press down, Direction. Down S1, one or button. Down, down, and S2. And try down, down, S1 and S2 together for your champ's strongest cinematic level two ultimate. Got it. Simple, very simple. I know people are worried about this making the game easy. So with all of these big buttons, how do you defend? Project L has quite a few defensive options. Like you'd expect, holding back or down back blocks. But if you want to get them off you... Push block. Try a push block. Ain't that in... You can do that in the Marvel's Catcom, guard. right? I don't know about retreating guards. I don't know if that was ever in a game before. It's cool, though. If you think you've got the reads, you can parry high or low attacks. Parry, thank God. I feel like this should be a standard a in fighting games at this point. A shockwave that leaves your opponent wide open to attack and refunds the meter cost. Yes, defensive options. One, defensive options are key, guys. You want to make your but game as defensively one, rich as punch. possible, in my opinion, to allow for death. Like, there's nothing wrong with adding defensive options at all, at all, at all. It allows people to express themselves, and that's the beauty of fighting games, you know. Is your opponent jumping at you or over you a lot? All champions also have you got the anti airs on deck, attack. of course. Down, standard heavy, in fighting games, standard. And if you're in a really bad spot, send dynamic save. Champ that's with cool. Well time dynamic save. Of Even course. If already KO'd, your that's really interesting. What the fuck? To help you break up if problems. they're dead, you still have at least access to them to save you. You'll only get to dynamic save a couple of times a match. Makes sense. And Can't can spam it. If you're not careful. <laughs> And there's counterplay to it too. If you make a read, you could kill somebody for it. All right, nice. Tag. Speaking of teammates, remember you can play. I wonder if they're gonna focus heavily, like in terms of competition, this game being team based or singles based, or they're gonna support both. Are they gonna have a ladder for one? Are they gonna mix the ladders where you can either go in solo, but you'll also queue up against teams? I wonder what angle they're going to go from from this. This is interesting, but I do like that this is an option. This is really fucking sick. Not to be too surprised coming from Riot being like primarily most of their games are, in fact, team games. Play Project L solo 
or with a friend on your team. There are plenty of options for two champs to work together, and pretty much every tag and assist Bro, mechanic Yasuo is tied looks to the insane. team button. Check it out. So every champion has two assist actions, used by hitting team left or team right. When you're playing solo, both inputs are controlled by you. But if you're playing with a friend, assists are controlled by your teammate off screen. For charge dis Son, these lobbies about to be toxic. <laughs> these lobbies about to be toxic as hell. Oh my God. It's a similar deal. Hold the team button down for the assist champion to come out and release it for their move. This music is really good. Quickly swap assist and point champions. Hold down the team button. Okay. If you want to get him in even faster, just press the team button while they're already on screen. The team button can also be used for a launching attack that queues up your teammate for an alley oop air combo. Okay, here's a fun one. When you get KO'd before your ally and they're low on health, you can still impact the match with a super powerful off screen move. Nice. We're calling this last stand. That's cool. And it's a way to claw your way back from early losses. Yo, people getting robbed by that free. <laughs> Definitely getting robbed. Lastly, let's talk about the fuse system. Fuses are powerful synergy options that change up your duo's playstyle. Yo, which one are you guys gonna use? For example, the two X I, I like this one, two X assist. To throw out two assists back to back instead of one. Another fuse option is double down which lets you and your duo link ultimates together. So during any level one, that's going to be a strong one. Can also ult with you one after it's going to cost, but that's going to, that's going to be a strong one for sure. Fury fuse is a great option for newer players that kicks in when champions are low on health. They'll get a damage bonus and access to a special dash cancel. Rage, rage. But if you prefer things a bit more dynamic, I don't like rage. Freestyle fuse allows teams to handshake tag multiple times within one sequence. You can pull off some crazy extended combos with this. Oh, that was crisp. I know this seems like a lot, but really, you'll pick up most of this as you play. So don't worry too much about the details. Get out there, press some buttons, and tell us what you think. No, oh, I believe it. Here's a controller diagram. I'm gonna be controller, but I might try stick because this game is rather new. So like, maybe I have a stick right there. The obsidian, I don't know, that shit was expensive. But I have a stick right there. Hmm. I might try stick for this game because it's different. But like, controllers might try and true, so I'll probably end up back on pad anyway. And for y'all, screenshot this now if you want an easy reference. This shit is simple, like actually simple. We can't wait to see what you do this weekend with Project L, which, just to confirm, is not our final name. Of course, we'll that that to me was obvious. Project L, like really, like. You could tell it's like the code names, right? Like the GameCube code name Dolphin, shit like that. Like, come on. Like, we know. But I do wonder what the game is going to be called. For that a bit later. What, what are your guesses? What are your guesses? Yourself, run some sets and get your feedback. We'll see you soon. This game is going to be insane. Riot! Thank you so much for this. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. So guys, what do you think of Yasuo? And basically, uh, how many characters do you guys think are gonna be in the base game? I'm wondering how many characters alongside who? The speculation is what makes fighting games so, I guess, hype. You know, it's exciting, right? When you don't really know what's coming. That's why I hate leaks in fighting games a lot. But uh, we're at EVO. I don't know if Project L is gonna show anything else. I feel like them bringing the demo and revealing Yasuo is pretty much their big surprise for uh, the FGC. But in terms of the other games like Street Fighter, Tekken, and all, Mortal Kombat, all the games that are there, like they'll definitely have reveals and stuff. That's typically what happens at EVO. So excited to see what we get from that. But uh, in regards to, I guess, just Project L in its entirety, the game looks really polished. The art style works. The music is great. It feels like a Riot Games game, essentially. And I really love the direction that they take took with it and just the creativity when it comes to just not not only like their systems and their different battle systems, but the whole like 2v2. I wonder if they're going to do 2v2, right, as their main thing, or are they going to make it 1v1 as their main thing, or are they going to make it mixed where you could either choose to be by yourself or you could have a team. Like, I wonder how they're going to tackle that, if there will be different rankings or ladders for each. It's just a lot. So, 
I'm interested to see the future of this game. I'm just about as excited for it as I was Street Fighter 6 when that was on the horizon. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, guys. Let me know what you think of Project L. For now, that's what it's called. In the comment section below. And I'll catch you on the next video. Later.